Nutrition in Animals Part 2 Learning Objectives 1. To understand which other parts of the alimentary canal does the food pass from. 2. To understand what happens to the food in the small intestine. 3. To understand the difference between the small intestine and the large intestine. Hello friends, how are all of you? In the last video, we saw with Sonu and Meena about the digestive system in human beings. We had learnt about the journey of food from the mouth to the stomach. With the help of this video, let us learn about the journey of food from the stomach to the other parts in the digestive system. Didi, it is evening now. You had said that you will tell me about the journey of food from the stomach. Yes, Sonu. Let me print the drawing I was drawing to help you learn. First, okay. You first tell me what do you remember? The process of taking food inside is known as ingestion. The food we eat passes through the esophagus and reaches our stomach. The lining of the stomach secretes digestive juices, hydrochloric acid and mucus to break down complex food particles into simpler food particles. Very good Sonu. You remember everything. Bring the drawing that I was drawing to help you learn. The food reaches the small intestine from the stomach. The small intestine is about 7.5 meter and it is a coiled tube-like structure. It receives juices like bile from the liver and pancreatic juice from the pancreas. Seven point five meter, such a long intestine. Didi, my stomach is so small. How does such a long tube fit inside it? Friends, did you know the length of the small intestine is seven point five meter? Yes, that is true. It can coil like a rope, and hence it fits in easily. Do you know, Sonu? The liver is the largest gland in our body. It secretes bile juice. Bile plays an important role in digestion of fats. Is the liver close to the small intestine? It is situated in the upper part of the abdomen on the right side. Look here. And pancreas is of a slight yellow color. It secretes pancreatic juice which helps in the digestion of carbohydrates and proteins. And where is the pancreas? The pancreas is situated right below the stomach. Look here. Now the partly digested food reaches the lower part of the small intestine. Here the digestive juices complete the digestion of the components of food. Look, I have written down in this list about the breakdown of different components of food into their simpler forms. We can see that carbohydrates break down to form glucose, fats to fatty acids and proteins to amino acids. The digestion is not less than any work in a factory. There is so much that the food we eat goes through. I used to think that we eat food. It reaches our stomach and the process of digestion is over. Did you all also think like Sonu? Sonu, there are still two parts where the food will travel to complete the digestion process. Do you know Sonu? The food is digested and absorbed in the small intestine. 
absorption how does that happen the digested food passes through the blood vessels in the small intestine this process is known as absorption there are a lot of blood vessels in the small intestine there are thousands of fingers like projections in the inner walls of the small intestine look at this picture in my science book these are called villi why are these villi like fingers it is written in my book that these finger like projections increase the surface area of the food to be digested the absorbed substances are transported via the blood vessels to the different organs of the body okay so now that the food is absorbed we get energy from it in the cells glucose breaks down with the help of oxygen into carbon dioxide and water and energy is released okay so now digestion and absorption have taken place so is the digestion now over no sonu the food that is left undigested and unabsorbed enters the large intestine the large intestine is wider and shorter as compared to the small intestine the length of the large intestine is 1.5 meter what 1.5 meter and the length of the small intestine is 7.5 meter then why it is called the large intestine because the diameter of the large intestine is two times bigger than that of the small intestine oh now i understand now the undigested food enters the large intestine the large intestine absorbs water from the undigested food the remaining waste passes into the rectum the fecal matter is removed from the anus from time to time this is known as excretion it is such a long process i'm really amazed didi now whenever i eat something i will remember how food passes through different parts and gives us energy yes sonu you are right and while explaining it to you i have revised the chapter for tomorrow's test now you should come first in the test tomorrow now i'm also prepared to give the test Didi, you explained to me about the digestion in human beings, but how does digestion take place in animals like cow, etc.? This is a very nice question, Sonu. I shall ask my teacher tomorrow. So, friends, I hope that you all have learnt about the journey of food from the stomach to the large intestine. Isn't it a long journey of food? In the next video we shall find out about the answer to the question that Sonu asked we shall meet soon